Greetings friend, I have a special treat for you today. This is a collaboration video. I challenged David Peru of DX Sudoku to solve one of the hardest puzzles I could find. This is a classic Sudoku by Julian Locke. It's almost impossible to solve using traditional strategies. Well, David did solve it using a technique that he invented and perfected. It's called alternate inference chains or AICs with extensions. Now, watch how David shows you how to solve this extreme Sudoku using AIC with extensions. Hello everyone, my name is David Peru and I'm going to demonstrate solving an extreme puzzle using a technique I call AICs with extensions. First, I want to thank Smart Hobbies for having me present a video on this channel. Let's begin. Consider the following puzzle loaded into Hadoku. As you can see, Hadoku is rating this puzzle as an extreme with a hefty difficulty score of 11,376. Also, take a look at the summary section showing the puzzle solving techniques Hadoku's solver would use in solving this puzzle. There are 29 extreme techniques being used to solve this puzzle. Instead of using these 29, what I'm going to do is solve this puzzle only using AICs with extensions. See the description section of this video for more information on the puzzle solving technique called AICs with extensions. For this puzzle, these 29 extreme techniques will be replaced by just 10 uses of the AICs with extensions. For those of you who are not familiar with Hadoku, Hadoku handles pencil marks differently than most apps. With Hadoku, you never put in the pencil marks. By default, Hadoku fills in all the pencil marks for you from beginning to end while you solve the puzzle. Having your computer software manage the pencil marks takes some time getting used to. What I have found is after about a year of doing Hadoku's way, I stopped solving puzzles using my own pencil marks. I generally prefer Hadoku's way of doing it. Now let's begin solving the puzzle. As you can see on the left, I will be using the puzzle solving algorithm outlined. First, based on our puzzle solving algorithm, we do step one and step two until we have cleared off as much as we can from the puzzle. Here are the results. A hidden single, a couple of locked candidates, and two hidden pairs were found. At this point in the puzzle, it requires more advanced puzzle solving techniques to proceed any further. Based on the algorithm's recommendations for choosing the first candidate in our chaining sequence, I have chosen the one in cell 7, 4 to be the starting candidate of our first AIC chaining sequence. The target candidates are highlighted in dark gray, and the first strong link in the chaining sequence is showing. If you are not familiar with chaining sequences, here are the basics. A chaining sequence is composed of nodes and links. A node is a single candidate or a group of candidates. A group of candidates is called a group node. A link is a type of relationship between two nodes. For example, between the one in cell 7, 4 and the one in 7, 6, there is a strong link. A candidate colored purple means we are pretending it is off. And a candidate colored dark green means we are pretending it is on. So we are pretending the one in cell 7, 4 is off, and because of the strong link, the one in cell 7, 6 is on. The strong link exists because there has to be at least one cell having a value of 1 in the house making up row 7. People often use complicated notation for the chaining sequences. I'm just going to use the word causes because I like simple words over complicated strings of symbols which are hard to read. Also, I'm not going to fully annotate the chaining sequences I create in this video. Just know that candidates colored purple will cause other candidates to be colored dark green. And candidates colored dark green will cause other candidates to be colored purple as I build out the chaining sequence. During the build out of this first chaining sequence, I will explain the logic for how the target candidates may be removed. At this point, I will begin building out the chaining sequence. I paused here to point something out. Take a closer look at the house making up row 8. There's a 256 naked triple with the candidates now highlighted in light red. I call this an X node or AIC extension. We could use this naked triple as a single group node in our chaining sequence. This 256 naked triple X node allows us to set two candidates in cell 8,3 to purple because there's a group node weak link relationship. This puzzle is very difficult and cannot be solved without using X node extensions in our AIC chaining sequences. X nodes can be any puzzle solving technique. 
I have successfully used X chains, nice loops, unique rectangles, and swordfish as X nodes in my chaining sequences. I've added a few more nodes to our chaining sequence. Notice the sixth candidate in cell 7, 2 is now highlighted in dark green. And notice the target sixth candidate in cell 7, 4 is highlighted in dark gray. Whenever our chaining sequence results in a dark green candidate sharing a house with a target candidate, we mark the candidate in red to indicate it is a non-possible candidate. Let's consider the logic for how the AIC chaining sequence with extensions works. If our starting candidate is on, then the 6 in cell 7, 4 is killed. And if the 1 in cell 7, 4 is off, the chaining sequence kicks in, the 6 in cell 7, 2 is highlighted in dark green, and our target candidate is killed. In both cases, the 6 in cell 7, 4 is killed, so we must conclude it is a non-possible candidate and can be removed from the puzzle. I'm going to go off and finish the chaining sequence. I'll be right back. I'm back. As you can see, four out of our six target candidates are now marked as non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. No additional candidates are removed with step one and step two. Next, we are going to use Hadoku to recalculate the difficulty score after removing four possible candidates. From the edit drop-down menu, I select the copy library format command. This puts a copy of the puzzle into the clipboard with all the correct information. Then from the edit drop-down menu, I select the paste command. Anytime Hadoku pastes in a new puzzle, it calculates the score. As you can see, with just four candidates removed, our puzzle now has a difficulty score of 6,950. And we've reduced the number of advanced techniques from 29 to 16 with just one use of AIC with extensions. Next, we move on to AIC number two. The starting candidate is the 8 in cell 4, 4, and there are three target candidates. As you can see, our chaining sequence resulted in two target candidates being marked as non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Again, step 1 and step 2 remove no additional candidates. Our new difficulty score is 5,874. Next, we move on to AIC number 3. The starting candidate is the 4 in cell 8, 3. And there are four target candidates. As you can see, our chaining sequence resulted in two out of the four target candidates being marked as non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Again, step 1 and step 2 remove no additional candidates. Our difficulty score is now 5,594. Next, we move on to AIC number 4. The starting candidate is the 9 in cell 9, 3. And there are three target candidates. As you can see, our chaining sequence resulted in two target candidates being marked as non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Again, step 1 and step 2 remove no additional candidates. Our difficulty score is now 4,194. We move on to AIC number 5. The starting candidate is the 7 in cell 3, 3. And there are 6 target candidates. Our chaining sequence resulted in 4 out of the 6 target candidates being marked as non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. This time, step 1 finds one set of locked candidates. Our difficulty score is now 3,304. We move on to AIC number 6. The starting candidate is the 5 in cell 6, 6. And there are 5 target candidates. Our chaining sequence found 3 out of the 5 target candidates as being non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Again, step 1 and step 2 remove no additional candidates. Our difficulty score is now 3,274. We move on to AIC number 7. The starting candidate is the 4 in cell 4, 7. And there are 3 target candidates. Our chaining sequence found 2 target candidates as being non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. This time, step 1 and step 2 set 5 values in the puzzle. Our difficulty score is now 2,664. AIC number 8 is next. The starting candidate is the 7 in cell 7, 6. And there are 5 target candidates. Our chaining sequence found 3 target candidates as being non-possible candidates. 
The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Step 1 and Step 2 made some good progress. Our difficulty score is now 1,534. Just two more to go. AIC number 9 is next. The starting candidate is the 6 in cell 7, 2. And there are five target candidates. Our chaining sequence found three target candidates as being non-possible candidates. Take a closer look at cell 5, 4. Notice all the candidates are highlighted in purple. This is a contradiction. Contradictions happen because our starting candidate is the actual value of its cell. When we assume a starting candidate is false, and it's the actual value of the cell, the constellation of givens will force contradictions to occur in our chaining sequence. But this is not a problem. We are not using this chaining sequence to solve the puzzle. We are only using the chaining sequence to have a logical reason for removing certain candidates. There's another consequence when this happens. Say all five of our target candidates need to be removed. In the chaining sequence now showing, the 6 in cell 3, 2 is in dark green, and the 6 in cell 7, 8 is in dark green. When our starting candidate is the actual value of its cell, contradictions will result in different chaining sequences. Each of these chaining sequences may cause different target candidates to be colored in dark green. Again, this is not a problem. We only remove what we can based on the chaining sequence. We then just keep going until the puzzle is solved. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Step 1 and Step 2 cleared off a few candidates. Our difficulty score is now 1,154. The last AIC chaining sequence is next. The starting candidate is the 2 in cell 6, 5. And there are 8 target candidates. Our chaining sequence found 6 target candidates as being non-possible candidates. The non-possible candidates are removed from the puzzle. Next, we do a round of step one and step two. After a boatload of naked singles, the puzzle is now complete. This was a really tough puzzle. Here are the 10 AIC chaining sequences needed to solve this puzzle. Many of the starting candidates I tried in the beginning resulted in having a stalled chaining sequence. After finding the first two or three good ones, finding additional starting candidates got much easier. This completes my section of this video. Back over to Timberlake. Watch this next video to see how I solved the puzzle from David's book using another one of his techniques. You can buy Taming a Sudoku Dragon or check out David's DX Sudoku channel through links in the description below. Thank you, David, for this collaboration, and thank you so much for watching.